Alright, so a lot of people have been asking me how to like level up fast, and as you guys saw with the level cap, level cap 3 on our top. So a lot of people have been asking me, like, what's the best strat, and like, how do you mine so fast? So we're going to be going over that in the video, and talking about a few key points. What to get in your pickaxes, what to do for mining sets, and basically all around how to do this stuff. So first step, the main thing you're going to need is to work on your mining set, right? So first thing you want is an armor crystal. Now, there's numerous things you could have on this, but the main thing you want is a type of cough. You can have like KS, KSD, KSG, all of that stuff is gray and all, but the only, like, you realistically, really, like, the main thing that you want is cough. Cough crystal, because the powerball ability and being able to mine faster makes it the best mining crystal that you can have that's single. Next step you want to do is you want to make a pickaxe. See right here, I have a prestige pickaxe. So prestiging things I would recommend to get is grinder and XP mastery. The shards are just because, hey, shards, nice. But the main things I would focus on for your XP pickaxes is, is grinder and XP. And you want it to be close to max, as you can see mine's max. And the main enchants that you want to focus on would be momentum, lucky, fracture, super breaker, efficiency, and you can always get at a high level, so might as well get almost every enchant, except the enchants you generally do not want to shatter and combo rupture. You can see we do have combo rupture one on our pickaxe, so obviously that was a mistake. Uh, Grant was enchanting my pickaxes, and he's bald, so also might want to get is efficiency 6. Now, this is really easy to obtain through max level Crucible G kit. Now, this isn't too expensive but at the same time or later in the map it does get more expensive but early map it is probably like a one or two slots to get the g kits and you can get efficiency six is also pretty cheap we went to six is in lucky fours other they're a different story so the next thing i would recommend you get are sockets you want a backpack you want at least a single amulet multi amulet would help because there's not as many single amulets as there is multi amulets for mining and a, a belt socket now these are really struggling because these are pretty expensive if you want the whole thing to apply because you usually get like 20 percent or 10 percent or something as for the mining enchants genuinely generally okay as for the mining enchants if you're going for like a chain set generally all you need is like gears vigor and surge overcharge it just helps with the mining speed but you can also get like experience absorption Experience Absorption, which is a legendary enchant. And you can get some other ones. But that, the main one you really necessarily have to get is Surge Overcharge and Vigor and obviously Gears. As for skins, I will put text to the left over here of the skins that you generally want. But there is some alternatives for the cheaper ones. So for the XP, generally you want Santa Boots, okay? The reason for this is the 25% less powerball cooldown and you also get some nice xp from refined ores and generally powerballs are the main source of your xp besides time warp the next best would probably be big tims if you have a lot of game members or just have a few if you have none of those though bear bolts that will do because it is much faster when you mine with them just because you have more movement speed that's the boot skin as for the belt, there's only really two options. For XP, you have for XP, you have the power belt, which gives 50% base XP on replenished doors. The next one is candy buckle. Now, this is really only 5% XP, so I like the power belt a lot more, but some people prefer the candy buckle. I my personal opinion, I feel like I mine enough refined ore or I feel like I mine enough replenished ores to get that my use out of the 50% base XP. So that is the belt skin, we can apply that. The next one we'll go to is backpack. There's really only one backpack skin that I can 100% say like, hey, this helps you so much. This would be the Cursed Wings, like, it is a huge game changer. Double fracture damage, a 15% chance to fracture. But... Another thing you could do is power core, because the 5% more mining speed, but... Or you could do rainbow backpack, because it has a little bit longer super breaker. But believe me, the difference in this 
is so much. And now, keep in mind, this is all for the overall mine. If you were doing gen mining, I would recommend Power Core, because the Curse Wings doesn't really... Or Curse Wings only applies to Fracture, pretty much, and Fracture is only an overall thing. And, obviously, like, Amethyst and Exit. So that is the backpack. Now, as for the amulets, most of these are multi. Now, the main one you want for this would be Secret Santa, because the two times XP from Powerball's mind uh, after it charges. Basically, when you hold down your mouse, it charges your Powerball as normal. But these Powerballs that throw out of your pickaxe from you holding down are give you 25% mining speed for 15 seconds. And it gives you two times XP. But another nice one is uh, the surgeon's. <clears throat> okay, a nice multi amulet would be the surgeon's stethoscope and the secret Santa, or you could have secret Santa and Silent Death. Really, the main thing you want though is secret Santa. Anything just as an add-on, like see this one, radioactive amulet. 1.5% XP gain. Realistically, that doesn't make that much of a difference, but it still helps. That is the amulet. Then we'll move on to the helmet. So, for the players that don't really have as much and aren't as rich as other players, such as me, I cannot get my hands on a pylon head. But basically, pylon head makes your crystals better. Like, I have a cough, and if you didn't know, a crystal is one-fifth of the set. One fifth of the power balls from the cost set, the cost crystal is. So there's four of them, so it's only 80%. But by having the pylon, you technically have the whole entire thing. So this is really good for multi crystals, for like KS, KSD, KSG, making it so much better than a normal cost set. The only difference is you can't have the next best one, which would be. This is personal opinion. It's North Star or Leviathan Trophy. North Star uh, adds 0.2 to your applying XP boosters. And Leviathan Trophy has Fracture 6. I like Leviathan Trophy. I, just how fast you mine, it just looks so nice. I just I prefer Leviathan Trophy. Although, North Star is really nice if you have really high boosters. Pylon also has your skills lower. This is really useful for... When you're in like level 100 where you can't use cauldrons, any like thing like guard, guard miner, miner, anything like that would be really nice. Now, that is all the skins for the set, but now we're going to talk about the custom blocks. So there's one custom block that you absolutely have to have when you're going to the prestige grinding, doing it really fast, past or before 100, and that's cauldrons. Cauldrons, they keep your skills at 200%. Does not apply to Amethyst or Emerald, because Emerald's not your highest order, it's technically Prismarine. And it applies for 10 minutes, it's 3 million energy. So you need a, about 6 for a full rotation. You also, I keep, I, in case you didn't know, you also definitely should have a booster. If you can get a booster, any really helps, but like realistically you want ones that are like 3 above. Like this one would be nice. Alright, so let's go. So first, I can't pop the cauldron, right? Because I have to have mind blocks to get my skills down. First, I actually have to go mind blocks. Now, if you're a level cap, say you're going 100 to go to P1, you can pop the cauldron before you proceed, actually, which really, really helps. So, here we go. I got the thing. I got enough. All right, well, I already leveled up. See that? See how, much, see how nice that is? As you're mining, and if you want to do this before you proceed, I don't typically do it just because I always forget, but... As you can see at the top, you get your mining combos. You get to choose if you see them, and I'll show you guys how. Let me pop my cauldron. You can actually choose to turn this off by doing slash options. Go to animations. And looking at mining combo highlights, you can turn them off. It just helps with more lag and stuff. It's really nice to have. Another thing I always suggest is getting momentum beforehand. I did not... Because I am, yeah, showing you guys this. But as you can see, I'm mining the blocks pretty fast. I'm already level 20. And I'm on prestige, so this isn't actually that much. But this definitely helps a ton. Now, I'll show you guys. You can see I'm, like, fast. I'm mining all these blocks that aren't actually breaking. If I just take this off. 
and go. You can see it's still doing a lot, but I'm actually not breaking the blocks when I'm running. If I just put it on, I'm breaking the blocks. So as you can see, Cursed Wings is so much more helpful. And yeah, basically, doing this, you would definitely do much better in your prestige grind if you didn't know anything about this. Uh, if you did know a lot about this stuff, I hope I did get, like, teach you something, at least. But this is going to be my tutorial on prestiging. And just in general, overall mining. A key thing to do when you're using cost crystals... The goal is to keep going and always having momentum. Not as in, like, the pickaxe enchant. But you want to keep the power balls going, so you just want to keep mining blocks. It tremendously helps keeping those power balls going. And when you stop, it just slows you down a ton. So that's why you got to capture every single type of time you have when doing the prestige grind. But that does look like it's going to be it for this tutorial. Hopefully I did teach you something if you knew everything about this. Uh, just smash that like button, you know? I hope you guys all have an amazing day.